Hey there, it's Peggy with Citrus Templates and I wanted to give you guys a walkthrough through this uh, Notion template for transaction coordination. So this uh, would be useful as a replacement to a Trello board if you're using that for contract to close. Um, I used Trello for a really long time um, and then I actually recently just discovered Notion and uh, I have to say I really like it a lot better than Trello. So if you guys haven't really you know, gotten into the vibe of Trello and aren't sure how to use it for uh, real estate transaction coordination, I think this is a, another great alternative uh, to Trello. It does work similarly to Trello, but it has a lot more features and is a lot more flexible um, for what you might need. So let's get into the template. So the template here, and if you guys haven't uh, purchased this template, I'll include the link uh, below so that you can get this template if you like what you see. Um, so with this template, uh, we have a transaction dashboard here, um, and this is all in Notion. This is, um, you can sign up for a free Notion account, and you can do all of this in, in the free version. So you've got a transaction dashboard um, and everything here is basically your kind of central hub for um, all of your transactions. So when you go here, um, you can be, you'll be able to click on a new transaction. So let's say you just got a ratified contract in or you um, got a, a new listing agreement signed. Um, so then you can come here, you can click new and this will uh, automatically um, have all of these fields that you can fill out for your uh, for your contract. Um, so let's say you know we've got a property at one two three Washington Road, um, and our client name is um, Mickey Mouse. Um, so then here you can add in um, the. Uh, the more details about the address, let's say this is in Washington, DC, I'm not really sure, 20018, let's say. Um, you can add in the property photo and all of this information, and this property photo then comes up here as uh, the picture for the card, uh, very similar to Trello. Um, and then you can put a link to you know, your documents um, if you're keeping all of your documents in one place, uh, purchase price, all of this uh, information. So let's say the purchase price, we have it as like, let's say 500 thousand um, so that'll go in here um, and then and then let's say this is actually if you go down here you can see I've already set up a buyer and seller types and that actually translates into all of the checklists for um, either a buyer or a seller side so let's say we've got this as a buyer under con um, just got a buyer under contract you can actually just click here and it will populate all of the checklists for you uh, to do your buyer um, to do your buyer uh, contract to close. And I already will tag this as a buyer in a stage zero. So we've got all these different stages that we're going to be working through, um, but this is the very beginning, so we're at uh, stage zero. So you can put in all of this information here, um, you know, with the buyer's name, seller's name, ratification date, any, um, you know, other dates and things like that that you need. Um, and then uh, let's say you have a commission rate, let's say it's two and a half percent. And this actually will calculate your commission uh, automatically um, here. So you don't have to enter that in either. And then I like how this is really flexible. So if you have like, let's say you have some other contingency date or something else um, that you want to track you can actually add the property in here and then that will uh, translate to the other um, to your other uh, transactions too you can add in uh, more properties here so you can really customize this for um, for what you need so once you put in all of this information then um, you can go down here and I've included all the checklists uh, that I used uh, for my contract to close and so this is like everything that you're gonna need uh, you know to get uh, once you have a new ratified contract this is perfect for your transaction coordinator uh, or even just for yourself just to make sure that you have not forgotten anything um, and then we basically work through all of the checklists um, through uh, through the contract so, uh, so that's kind of how you would add a new, uh, a new contract um, in, in here. So, so that's, that's that part of it. Then um, what you can do too is uh, you can see I've created all these different views of all of our transactions. So when I uh, updated that, then that took it off um, since it's not closing in the next seven days. So um, this then, next, 
And you can also see all of your uh, current transactions. So this is everything that's um, that's coming up and then when that closing date is. So now we have our new um, new contract here with that closing date. Um, so you can really quickly see kind of what's going on, like how many how many deals you have deal going on, um, you know, what's closing, what's coming up. Um, the thing I really like about this too is that you can uh, track all of your sales here automatically. Um, so you don't have to do anything. Once you fill out information in this card, uh, once you fill out all this information, all of this stuff gets populated here. So let's say I have a ratification date of like today. Um, see, you can see already it just came right up and then it, it put it in where it needs to go. Um, so I really like how flexible um, Notion is uh, to be able to help you with uh, transaction coordination and getting all the information in one spot. So then for the year, you can see um, how much volume you've been doing and what's your gross commission. So it's really easy to be able to populate all of this, this information based upon just what you're putting in to each of the cards. Um, and then finally down here, we have more of a kind of Trello style um, visual where you can see kind of where all of your cards are so since we just started this one we just moved that that automatically got tagged as you know stage zero uh but then let's say uh, you know you're you're looking at this this contract um and then everything uh everything is going well we've got it into stage two right now uh, what you can actually do is if you you can drag this over to this next next stage um and then that kind of comes comes over here and then once you look at that now we've gotten it this into stage stage three and that that stage two um, tag has been taken off. So uh, very similar to um, how Trello works uh, that you can kind of put this into this uh, this format as well. So you can manage both of your uh, buyer contracts that way. And then you can also manage your seller contracts um, in, in the same way. Um, here, you know, you can add both the buyer and seller. All you really need to do is uh, is choose. Like, so when you go to new, uh, just make sure to choose one of these buyer or seller contracts, and that'll automatically tag uh, the um, the the contract to the right place. Um, so if you guys have any questions about how to use this uh, dashboard, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I think it's a great way to uh, manage your transactions. I'll talk to you soon.